So starting with question 22, if point A has a coordinate of negative 5 and 1, in which quadrant would point A be plotted on the coordinate grid? So if I thought of my coordinate grid here, and over here I had plus, plus, here I would have negative plus, and this coordinate, in this quadrant I would have negative, negative, and here I would have, in this quadrant, I would have positive, negative. This quadrant is quadrant one. And remember, we're going counterclockwise. Quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. So in which quadrant would point A be? I see that I have a negative and a positive. So that would be quadrant two. There are three vertices of a rectangular, P, D, C, R, plotted on the coordinate grid to the right. The fourth vertex of the rectangle will be represented by point R. So we're looking for point R. So if we just take an estimate, it should be somewhere around here. So that would be up around 2.5x and up 9. So two, positive 2 and a half, up 9. And you see if you have a match. Bingo! Our next question says, look at the points on the grid to the right. Which point best represents the location of the ordered pair 1 and 3 fourths and 2 and 1 fourth? Remember, we always start with our x, and then we go to our y. So I'm looking for 1 and 3 fourths. So here's 1, here's halfway, so this must be 3 fourths. And then I move up, up my line, to 2 and 1 fourth. Here's 2, and then a quarter it should be point s. Point s. Question 25. If point A has coordinates x and y, and point A, when graph lies between quadrant 2, which of the following conditions must be true? So if I remember, quadrant 2, there's quadrant 1, this is quadrant 2. Quadrant 1 is a positive, positive. Quadrant 2 is I move negative, positive. So I have to find a negative-positive relationship. Well, here it says x is greater than 0. OK, so that is not good because that moves to the right. So this one will be out. This one says x is less than 0. Well, that's good because this will give me a negative. And this says y is greater than 0. So I'll have my x would be negative and my y would be a positive. Now I want to just check my others. Here it says x is greater, and so we know from a that's not going to work. And we see x is less than 0, so we know that works. But y is less than 0, and that's going to be negative. So b is our answer. Four lines are shown on the grid to the right. Which line contains the point with the coordinates negative 4, 2? So remember, we move x and then y. So I'm going to move over 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I'm going to go up 2. And my point will be right there, which is line b. A circle on the coordinate grid, a circle shown on the coordinate grid, what are the coordinates of the center of the circle to the right? So I see that um, go over 2 and down 5. So 
So my coordinates would be 2, negative 5. Now this graph is a little funky. So you might have 2 and possibly negative 4 and a half also. So I think both choices would work on this graph as it's a little bit difficult to see where the 5 is. Question 28. So with question 28, I want to start plotting some of these points. So if I look at my movie theater as my dot there, my black dot, and I go to my coordinate, 1 and 4, I'll plot that there. I'm just going to use some different colors. So then I go 2 and then down, negative 1 for pet store. And then my arcade is going to be 5 and 6. And my music store is going to be negative 1 and 3. And I make my line connecting them. Which of these here will fall on that line? So if I start at 2 and go up 5, I could see that doesn't work. That's not going to work. Sports store is negative 3 and then 2. That's pretty close. Pretty close. We'll see. Bakery, 7 and 9. 7. And then all the way up to 9, that's not going to work. And the bike shop is 3 and 2. That's not going to work. So it looks like the sports store is our answer. Which point has the ordered pair 2 and negative 2? So x and y. So start, I go over to 2 then down to, and that will be point S. What are the coordinates for P? So remember, X and then Y. X, you moved over 1. And Y, you didn't go up or down, so that's 0. So which expression is equivalent to the model? So like we talked about in class, let's think these as individual pieces first. So here you have four things that are x's, plus three things that are positive, four things that are x's, plus three things that are positive, four things that are x's, and three things that are positive. Well, now, I can also see this as I have three groups, and in each group I have four things that are unknown, plus three things that are positive. Now I want to see which of these matches this, and I should be thinking distributive property here. And I could definitely see D is great. A is not so great because you just have your X's and then th you have three groups of four X's, and then just three individual things, so this won't work. Here I have 4x plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is not going to work. And here you only have just one group, only one group there. But I have three groups in total, so D is my answer. D. Okay, which property is shown in this equation? All right, so I'm paying attention to the details. I see I'm multiplying. See my three comes first, 11, then 10. Three, 11, then 10. Then three, 10, and 11. Hmm, I wonder if it's easier to think about A, B, C, and three is A, 10 is C, and 11 is B. Well, what happens there? 
that shows the commutative property because the orders change. Look at the B and C, how they change places. So my answer will be commutative property. What property demonstrates the statement? You have 17 things, and then you're bringing in its opposite. So if you had a number line, and you had 0, and 17 here, and 17 here, well, those are opposites. And so when we deal with opposites, to get rid of 17 positives, I will take those away, and that would be inverse property. Which two expressions are equivalent? So a little bit tricky, but this is an expression and this is an expression. Expression, 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 expression. Okay, so I want to see which one is equivalent. And starting from this one, you have 9 and 6 and 9x. So 9 and 6 plus 9x. Well, that works out because here you have 9 times 6 and 9 times x. In this one, you have x plus 72 is equal to x plus 8 times 9. There's nothing you could really do too much about that one because this is going to be 72 and then plus 9x. And we can see that that does not match up. <clears throat> Here, if we look at our sentence, we have 8 times 6 divided by x, and then we have 8 times x divided by 6. And if we remember the rule about division, we cannot change the order of a division problem. What you start with is what you have, otherwise it would be different, so this won't work. This one, we have 6x plus 3. And they're saying is equivalent. So we'll look at 6x plus 3 is equal to 6 times x plus 3. Well, if we use distributive property, you'll have 6x plus 18 is equal to plus 3 and 6x. And we can see that this and this is not equal, so this one won't work either. So it looks like it looks like f might be the best answer. 9, 6 plus x is equal to 9 times 6 plus 9x. And when we distribute that, we have 9 times 6 plus 9 times x is equal to 9 times 6 plus 9 times x. So this is a much better answer. And that will do it.